All right, my name is David Rogers. I'm the president of Opsborg. Um, I'm also a designer of the company Artisan, and we develop a lot of headgear products for the military and sporting goods uh, markets. Um, here at the SHOT Show, um, we're showing uh, three different products that we've developed. Uh, the first one being a new chin strap retention system um, that's designed to fix some issues that people have had with the current standard issue uh, chin straps that um, come on an ACH helmet. The um, current chin straps that issue with the helmet have a, a problem in the fact that the tension lines between the chin and the back of the helmet and the front are not straight, which causes the helmet to have a rotational uh, problem until the straps go straight. So no matter how tight I tighten the buckles, and you can see, I can tighten these down as much as I can until these two straps go to a straight tension line, they can't do their job. So at this point, this helmet won't move, but now it can move this way because this is in a straight line. So no matter how tight you tighten your helmet, they will always do this. The second problem is that it's very difficult to actually tighten the back straps on a standard issue chin strap because they bunch up. The way the webbing runs up through the anchors and turns around tends to roll over the nape pad and makes it hard for people to actually adjust and pull when they're wearing the helmet. And the problem with that is that normally people would not like to have their chin strap torqued down and their tightest amount when they're just on patrol or walking around or riding a vehicle because it's uncomfortable. So what people tend to do is leave their chin straps loose in a comfortable configuration and then when they actually need to jump or do an activity which requires the helmets to be stable, they um, don't have time or um, ability to actually tighten up their chin straps. So what happens is that even if you were to tighten this, which they can't do, you still go back to the same problem. And if you're trying to run with nods or do any kind of jump scenarios, this actually creates a big problem. So what we did was, if you want to look over at this helmet, the chin strap product that we're selling is a direct replacement for this system. Uh, if you have a quarter or a nickel or a dime, you can take out the ballistic screws on one helmet and pop in this, just this system. It takes about uh, five minutes to swap out uh, with no hardware. And it uses the same mounting hole points as uh, any of the, the other helmets, so you don't have to do anything except take out four screws. Um, this chin strap solves two problems. One is with the angle force lines between the back of the nape pad and the chin, and the other is with the adjustment of the system. Uh, first thing we did, you can see these lines are straight force lines so that when I pull on this helmet in this direction, I've got a straight force line under the chin. It doesn't move. If I pull on the helmet from the back, you see here there's a straight force line, the helmet doesn't move. The second thing is that we have no loose ends. The buckle hardware on this is designed so that when you pull the piece of hardware, which is actually easy to do with gloves because you actually have something rigid to, to grab onto, um, all you do is pull the piece of hardware and it tightens the strap. So, as you can see, hopefully you can see from where you are, all I do is pull these uh, tension locks, we call them headlocks, um, and you can tighten up the system, or if you want to release it, you just slide it back this way. So the result is that people can wear the helmet in a comfortable position. Right now I've loosened this up. You can see it's not tight. The helmet's loose. It's, this is how it would be worn normally by anyone anyway. But when you decide you need to be stable or you want to jump or you want to do something active, you just pull the straps and it's as fast as that. It's one second and they're tight. Now if you look at this, it's rock solid. I could break, break the head right off of this mannequin because these straps, just like the other ones, will hold couple hundred pounds of force and so the problem isn't the strength of the, the system it's the geometry uh, so that's the first product that we're selling uh, to solve this problem uh, there's some other minor details that have been improved if you look at this um, let me know if you can uh, see this okay we've added um, leather pads to the nape pads and to the chin strap so it's more comfortable and more durable it also holds its shape and provides a little bit more bump protection because of its uh, double webbing here. Um, and we've also put turnarounds on the, um, the back nape pad so that 
when you pull the straps, it doesn't bunch up the pad. So all of those subtleties actually end up letting the system work the way the helmet was originally designed to work and stay comfortable and stable on your head. Now this is completely loose. Um, it's probably looser than you wear it, but all you do is grab this lock and you pull it and it tightens. Same thing with this one. Pull it and it tightens. You want to loosen it? Just push it up. So it's actually a one-handed, one-second maneuver to adjust your helmet. And uh, we find people do that a lot. You know, if they're uh, in a rest position and they're not doing anything active, they'll leave this loose, but they don't even have to detach it. They don't have to unbuckle it. You can just loosen it up. If you're doing something active or a jump, you just tighten it down. And when it tightens, it holds because it's got direct force lines and geometry is all consistent. The uh, second product that we're selling, if you switch back over to this other helmet, we call this an attachment rail. It's a add-on for any ACH helmet. It fits um, medium-large, extra-large shells. It allows you to attach things to the helmet without having to put any secondary holes through the ballistic shell or glue anything onto the ballistic shell or put on Velcro or duct tape or We've seen a lot of different ways people will attach things onto their helmet. Normally this uh, component will sit underneath the helmet cover and we put a slot in the helmet cover so you can access this feature. Um, in the case of this uh, demonstration, we've taken the cover off just so you can see what's inside. So essentially this will let you put on a camera, a light, uh, Face Pro, we have an adapter that fits a riot shield. Um, we're working on a piece that does a adapter for Peltor and Sword, or, sword and Comms. Um, down here there's a mount for an O2 mask for a bayonet mount. Um, and back here we can put on a battery pack. So the, the design of the system is it replaces your current uh, retention system mounting bolts. So to put it on all you do is put on uh, this, this component with the longer screws that are provided. And it allows you essentially to attach anything or detach anything from your helmet very easily and very quickly. Uh, we also uh, sell a Picatinny rail adapter that allows you to uh, put legacy equipment onto the rail so that if you have a piece of equipment that fits to any uh, Picatinny rail, you can also put that onto this adapter. Uh, the third product that we're um, uh, showing here at the SHOT Show is a, a new plastic shell. Uh, it's got a different edge cut. Uh, you can see it back here. It has the same type of rail and uh, options for Picatinny adapters, but it also has uh, integrated eyewear and other um, ballistic shell and uh, liner system enhancements. Uh, so if you're interested in finding out more about the shell, uh, probably check back in with us uh, the summertime or at SHOT Show next year. Um, I think that's all that we've got, so thanks very much.